This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com. This show is brought to you by Slice on Broadway, supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni and pizza. Production services by Sidekick Media Services. And listeners like you supporting us at patreon.com slash awesomecast. time to get geeky get awesome it is the awesome cast i'm mike sorg at sorgatron in the sorgatron media studios in pittsburgh pennsylvania uh if you were looking for us live uh hopefully you caught our link we we're over on vimeo for whatever reason the vimeo restreaming effect isn't isn't allowing to us to go everywhere tonight that's okay you if you catch us afterwards you won't even mind uh so but yeah it's part of the weird night also uh with me not part of the weird night uh, but well, you're part of it now i suppose dave ponders with of, of the iphoneography podcast i'm always glad to be part of weird night if you're if, if you don't have weird you get boring. And who I, wants boring? I know, right? I know. Um, and part of this uh, interesting night, so um, I had to go walk and pick up our sponsor pizza for tonight at Slice on Broadway. On, on the way back, I was greeted by a new friend who who threw a little bit of coaxing of pepperoni because I didn't have any sort of leash, um, uh, joined us here in the studio uh, <laughs> until I'm um, otherwise told um, it, it, she is referred to as Pizza Dog. Because she seems to like pizza, pizza you know, no, you know, and, and has just been hanging out with me and is super chill. Uh, um, uh, has yeah. So the, I have a I have a new I have a new dog apparently. Um, so I we we do have the, the we do have the pictures out and everything on social media. So hopefully we do find the owner. We we open the window and everything in here. So hopefully somebody can see that the dog is hanging out and recognizes it or something while we're doing the show or something hopefully not during during the show or hopefully in between if we're lucky on that so we'll see what happens so either way and we'll update you on the dog status here through the show if it's interested it's only barked like once and i don't even know maybe it actually saw another dog or something but it's not cared at anybody out the window or anything like that so i mean this is just this has been the vibe (laughs) so it's just like i you're, yes, you're on the internet. Um, anyways, um, so th- th- there you go. Uh, we have a pizza dog. Um, so excuse my offness here uh, and everything. So uh, I know Chill is on assignment uh, down in another another state, and um, and 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 Katie is uh, well. We replaced her with the dog. Uh, let's be honest about this. So, uh, but anyways, no, she's got. I think she's uh, she's got a work thing or a, a help thing that, that uh, went a little long. But that's okay. We'll get back to things next week. Um, but this is the awesome cast. We like to talk about awesome things of the week. And um, I, I noticed some. Uh, uh, we just installed fresh new operating systems on some of our devices here. Um, but uh, I I wanted to start with partner. I wanted yes. to start with something. I was very excited about. And there was a lot of stuff in this last week to be excited about on our travels. I love that we we you know we we weren't overworked, so we got a little chance to kind of explore and things on our travels. And and one of those things I did get a chance to check out. And I'm so sad that that I I you know schedules didn't work out, and and I had to um um do this by myself because I really wish uh I I really wanted some buddies to uh, enjoy this with me. But I got to see. Oh no! What's this? Wait, wait! What is this? What page is that? Hold on a second. What? Oh, oh! That's why I couldn't find Messenger. The new OS apparently, the new Mac OS apparently decided to. Oh, that's right. We did. We had a second screen when we were oh. uh, broadcasting with uh, 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 your your boss and and my client uh, uh, this weekend. So excuse me as I figure out how to do the display options on the new macbook here for a moment no, oh the no, display has popped up on the other on the other screen i can't see oh no i don't know i don't know what happened to it okay let, hold on give me a second this, this is this is a uh, uh on the fly we're gonna all learn together situation okay um, is it in a is it in a space or no 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 it's, it's just it's extended I, I just want to oh, okay I want a mirror. There we go. Now I can actually show things off. Ah, there we go. Okay, that looks about right. There you go. Yes. Hello. That is, uh, if you're on audio, that's my head in a lion's head. Uh, that's my head in a lion's mouth. Um, or a, 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 I don't know. It's a cat. It's a battle cat, I suppose. Um, yeah, yes. a, it's a cringer. It's a cringer. Well, so so it's interesting because, uh, yeah, it is kind of a cringer, but it is the um, it is a a full size replica. 
of what would be considered the Battle Cat toy from the He-Man series. And yes, you can ride it. You're actually encouraged to ride on top of it. So this is at the, um, let me get check my notes here real quick. This is in Grand Rapids, Ohio at the Little House Books and Art uh, store down there. So it's, a, it's just an old-timey bookstore. Uh, very old-timey neighborhood, by the way, on the side of some, you know, a river, some some raging rapids kind of rivers kind of situation. Hmm. Uh, right next to it is a nice walkway with public restrooms, by the way. Uh, and, and other little, um, I think I have some more on here. Uh, from this space, if I'm not mistaken, because you walk around the corner and there's a, oh yeah, there it is. Yeah, they give you a little step stool. Um, there's this little walkway and you keep going. There's a, yeah, there's a turtle statue, um, hippo statue. And then like you walk and you're at the river. Basically, if you walk straight through where you're seeing, there's a little, Ooh. there's a little bridge there and you're on okay. this little island and there's like a little walkway and tells you how far it is to get to things. But this is, um, I walked in and basically it was like, hi. I'm here for I'm here for Battle Cat and see Battle Cat and do you have any He-Man books? To which I picked up this Golden Books classic, Masters of the Universe. <gasps> He-Man smells trouble. Ah! <laughs> I love it. I love it. So um, I had several golden books. They were not the hardcover ones like this. They were those kind of uh, um, mm -hmm. square soft color covers. Um, I got to say, though, I, and I always love the artwork on them because they were actually like kind of scary. Um, this artwork is not nearly as good. I'll, I'll be quite honest with you. Is not. It's it's more. I think this is more of like a, a reader reader thing because you know there's, there's there's more. You know there's more. You know. Uh, uh, words than art kind of going on here. So I, I, you know, that's fine. And, oh, Roboto is a part of this. It looks like somebody may have taken, have they have drawn it or is that the artwork itself? I think that might be the artwork itself. And there's Stinkor. There you go. So, um, and even the book kind of smells, but I think it just smells like old. Mm, yeah. You know. Old books do have that smell to them. Absolutely. It's got that old book smell. Uh, let's see. I love, and I love, I love the titles are just the other ones that are, um, apparently in this specific, specific series. I feel like some of these have been adapted, adapted from the comic books that came with the figures a little bit. I have the power. Obviously, there's always one of those. Skeletor's Flower of Power. He-Man Smells Trouble. Oh, that's this one. That's this one that we literally... Yep. Believe. The River of Ruin. <laughs> and Tila's Secret. And also The Horde. Just generally, just The Horde. So wait, it's a book about The Horde without... Hey, yeah, they kind of they kind of like really went back and forth, like how the horde was like randomly like, and it's a He-Man problem, even though it's not. But that is my uh. I remember using these now because Kid Metal was just in to do fishing without bait last night. Mm -hmm. So, uh, anyways, yeah, so um, that was really cool. But the it was um, yeah, it was like a sculptor, and they have all these horses in the front too. It's pretty wild, and it is mm -hmm. the quietest, quaintest. It also was like a Monday. Um, Monday at at one thirty, <laughs> so p.m. So it was probably quiet. Oh, yeah, so even quieter. Nothing's going on. I yeah. was shocked they were open on a Monday. You know, True. I feel like yeah. most small towns are like, oh, we're closed on Monday and stuff. But uh, I think I the, the places in my neighborhood are closed on Mondays, right? Usually mom and pop shops and, and little places like that, right? So um, so that was my. So again, I'll give that shout out for uh, that uh, little library books. Um, I, I think it's little library house, library house books. I, I'm going to go grab that real quick again. Make sure I give them the proper shouts. Library house books and art. You can go check that out. And they, and they got a nice collection. You're looking for some old books and stuff. I got this and I got some, I got a present for somebody while I was there too. That I won't talk about because I don't know if they are because we're not live on the Facebook right now, but I know they watch. <laughs> so, and they might be clicking through the link. I don't know. I haven't been on the chat room yet because I am trying kind of deciphering how this thing even works because we're mm -hmm. technically we're streaming on vimeo so there's that and and technically there's supposed to be a chat but i don't know where that's going yeah, when you said grand rap is the first thing of course that popped in my head was michigan yes absolutely and i've been i've worked in michigan several times mm -hmm. I've, I've you know i've definitely oh. been there for that kind of stuff so and i did look up grand rapids ohio mm -hmm. the, their their title is the grandest of the old uh, of the old canal towns okay that makes sense that looks like it might be a canal kind of yep. situation yep and a population of 922 people wow there's that on the street, probably. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty okay. much all there is to it. Yeah. Okay. It's really kind of out there. It's um, I think it was an extra forty-five minutes 
uh, off the turnpike south of Toledo. And it was like, you know, it was still like part of Toledo Metro Parks technically. Um, so I, I, I don't know how that all wow. works out, but, uh, where they were, but you know, it, it's pretty incredible. So if you're, if you're, uh, heading out the turnpike, heading past Toledo, I know, I know we would a lot, you know, of course going to Michigan and going past to like South Bend and, and Chicago for work. Um, you know, this is the, I would, I would consider if I, if I have somebody else with me, I was like, Hey, you want to see something cool? <laughs> and I, the, I mean, honestly, the time, this it, is one thing that mm-hmm. the interstates. And I, it's not to sound too much like an old man. Oh, man. This is one thing that the interstate's kind of killed off. You know, and I love this every time. I think you said this before on this show. And every time you do this, do you know what I think of from my childhood? Can you, can you guess the one thing that comes to my mind? Oh, right? Maybe man. you didn't watch this when I did. But there, the, 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 the interstate is the, is the plot of a very specific movie. Well, I know it's Toy Story. Uh, not Toy Story, Cars had it but were you Cars, thinking another one uh roger rabbit oh yes the whole plot was he was going to mm-hmm. bulldoze two we're going to tear we're going to take down all the and street cars there's and replace it with a highways and... speech at the end by christopher lloyd's uh evil character mm-hmm. about <laughs> the glorious idea of a thing that we're going to call the freeway with strip malls and and dealerships mm-hmm. for as far as the eye can see, and my my and Lying billboard, with billboards. billboards far as the world can see. Mm-hmm. My God, it'll be magnificent. It's just so like you know, never really grasped it at the time, but now you come back and you're just like, oh, and they're like, yeah. and then, you know, and then like the they're like that's that's insane. That's an insane idea. What are you talking about? You know. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, but anyways. Oh. Yeah, yeah, no, because they. I, I looked a little bit more on their page. It says historic canal town founded in 1833 is Gilead, mm-hmm. uh, renamed in 1868, and they have an apple butter festival since 1977. I think I saw a sign for the apple butter festival. Is it now? Is it now? It, 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 like... it, it's got. It should be about now. I, I, I feel like this, I, this seems like an apple butter kind of season. Yeah, well, I know like uh, it for for local people in Pittsburgh. Mm-hmm. Um, there is an Apple Festival in early October in Hickory, PA, mm-hmm. um, and it's a, a beautiful. Great, yeah, this one's October thirteenth um, for for Grand Rapids. Mm-hmm. So, but I mean, it, it, well, it's kind of like for Pittsburgh mm-hmm. to bring and kind of you know what bring it bring bring technology into this. Sure. Okay. Um, when they put in the Fort Pitt Bridge in the late 50s, early 60s, the western part of the city, and actually the entire city, of course, had amazing streetcar trolley, you know, coverage. Yeah. I mean, it literally, Pittsburgh was a trolley town. Yeah. You you, you got somewhere, you got on the trolley. And when they put in the Fort Pitt Bridge, because it was part of the interstate highway, they said no. We are not allowing trolleys on a trolley track on there, and because and then the port it was actually before Port Authority before, but the the company said, well, we're going to have to cut out service all to the West End because we don't have another way to get uh, down Carson Street and out to the western part of the city and the western suburbs. So we're going to have to cut usage over there. Because we need to replace this little public transportation thing, shared transportation, with this car interstate. Mm. And 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 I know we can never go back. And would there be funds in the 60s, 70s, and 80s for upkeep uh, of the entire system as it was uh, compared to the one thing? Kind of in my mind, it's one single line. It's downtown. It's north side downtown right past you. South Hills Village area. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's like one spine word. But you look at old maps of the transit system. There were like heck, where I am, there was a trolley that went out to Oakmont. Yep. Um, you can still see parts like when I go into town, I go if I go to oh, um, East Liberty, what we call the back way mm-hmm. uh, through Lake and Lemington. There's a part where you go from Penn Hills the city where the buses turn around mm-hmm. 
And the buses turn around there because that's where the trolleys used to turn around <laughs> when there were trolley tracks. Right. It went to the city. It went to the state, the city border, turned around and came back in. It, and it, you can see this weird little part. We're just like, what? Why is that there? It makes no sense. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it, 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 it's it's fascinating to find. I, that should be, you know, I know our friend Chris uh, Whitlatch does the walking tours, and I know there's more than a walking tour. But I'd love mm-hmm. to see if there was like something like his um, underground Pittsburgh uh, walking tours. That was a, and here are the remnants of the old trolley system that are yeah. still left here. You know, I mean, down to the point where, and I really wish I got a chance to do this because I know they were using the other station. I think it's Penn Station uh, downtown that that's never been used, and I've always wanted to see it because I always saw the the offshoot there when I go downtown mm-hmm. um, at uh, Steel Plaza, and I was like, well, I want to see what the other station is that we haven't used in like since I've moved here twenty years ago. You know, like, well, you it, can actually see it though. Oh yeah. Because if you go to right by the Pennsylvania Railroad, mm-hmm. where the East Busway is, yeah, they have that little area. So what happened is the tracks went above ground, okay, and went right there. Oh, it's an outside. It's uh, an outside. Yeah, really. I thought it yeah. was still an underground, like the other mm-hmm. ones. Okay, no. okay. Nope. It goes as far as I know. I could be wrong, but as far oh. as I know, it goes right up, and you can see all the tracks coming up and right next to the busway. I feel like this is a. Uh, I think I feel like this is a. This is a historical thing for. Maybe she's already done it for our friend Pick Girl Jenny. Uh, <laughs> it wouldn't shock me if she talked. Yeah. yeah. It, but I, to go for the future. Yes. It's right. The tracks are there, right next to the busway. Mm-hmm. I know it would be prohibitively expensive. That's why no. That's why they're not going to do it. It's cheaper just to add buses and convert over and put new trolley tracks now. But you literally could run a line that would go from steel plaza right on the east busway and i know they're talking about extending the east busway out to monroeville you can make a line that goes from downtown make a little spur that goes out to oakland by the back way there out to monroeville and make and put a big part like like they have down south hills village they have the park and ride line Put a park and ride lot out there if you could bypass or in Roeville. You don't have to worry about the Squirrel Hill Tunnel and all that. All right, I'm tweeting. But of course, that that all takes money. I'm tweeting her. I don't know if she's still on Twitter because I know a lot of people. But that's I, I that's the only contacts, and I still get her emails every once in a while when she writes them. Yeah. So I, I know she's very very busy. I got oh, somebody yeah. I wish I, I I could see again. Um, you know, they, I, we need to we need to do a tweet up thing. I, I miss the old people. Uh, the, the old people, the old people we used to hang out with. Yes, no, that still that still feels like the same way. Uh, you know what I mean? You yeah. know, that old crew, we've been reminiscing uh-huh. about it. You know, Katie and I have been reminiscing on it while we've been on some of our, our trips here. So, Anyways, let's get back around. Uh, so you have a... No, no, you don't have an awesome thing of the week. No, I do not. Okay, no. I didn't hit the button. Um, so, so anyways... So, the, the, but you have been playing with a little bit of something, and and, and yeah, we can kind of offshoot mm-hmm. here a little bit. We got I got I got some stuff I want to come around, back around to from our trip that I thought was very very interesting about a night. Um, and uh, but you um you've been poking at uh, you want to talk about the new stuff like a lot of stuff just launched on our Apple devices today, and I right. know you put a video out of the uh, calculator, mm-hmm. which was fascinating actually. It, it and and you know they they showed this during WWDC the new calculator app and Apple's good of putting a video out and demoing and it kind of works like they say it's going to um, but you're never quite sure so with the calculator app uh, you have when you open it up it opens to the basic calculator. And previously, if you turned your calculator sideways, you got the scientific. Sure. Well, that's changed now. So if you turn it sideways, you just get a sideways calculator, which, you know, g- gives you bigger buttons, which can be helpful, you know, depending on how, you know, how you're touching, bigger buttons are a good thing. Uh, then you also have the scientific calculator, which you can do either now. Let me, let me want to turn my screen down. But here we go. You can either do it vertically mm-hmm. or horizontally. Mm-hmm. Now, one thing I know is I, I have a, th- a 13 Pro Max. This is pretty snappy. Mm-hmm. But now you also have the ability for math notes. 
is which, where it gets exciting. Yeah. So it puts you into a typing mode, but I want to try the handwriting. Okay. So I made sure that it was on the smallest as possible. And I was using my fingers. So this is just me typing in nine squared minus square root of 16. Mm -hmm. So 81 minus four. <laughs> and it answered it. Boom. And now it would say this. And in text, it, by the way, too. Yeah. Yeah. Like it, it wrote in, it. In, it. It matched my handwriting. Yeah. It matched my handwriting. And what's cool is if you copy what I wrote in and let's say put in a new note or an email or somewhere else, you can paste it. But here you can actually paste it as text. So converting my handwriting to text, for, for, to text if you, for us old people, mm -hmm. OCR. Mm -hmm. OK, if you remember, that they used to tout that with scanners and just doing it with handwriting, which is just kind of mind blowing. And the other thing I tried is it won't graph for you. So I use the typing there. I just type in Y equals X. And the nice thing is it isn't static. Now, the minute I put that, it said, oh, you have Y equals X. Do you want me to make a graph? Yes. Boom. Makes a graph. Again, we're talking a simple graph. This, you know, we're not talking overly complex. Yeah. But still, and then I said, okay, let's, how do you do quadratic? Boom. X squared. I added it and it automatically updated it. And then just made, put the, put a big old, um, you know, uh, made a parabola, a quadratic equation in here. And because of the plus seven, it kind of got out of things. So I, you can resize it and you hit recenter and it makes it where you can see the graph again. Jeez. And then you can down below copy the graph, paste the graph into either. An, I was duplicating by accident, mm -hmm. but you can copy the graph, paste the graph, put it in another thing, put it in a Word document, put it. I wouldn't put that in this pages or Word document pages, um, you know, something else that you email mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and you just paste it and it works fine. It's just text. It just it, it's really just works really, really well. Nice. That's just one of the many things, of course, with the new the new functions here. Mm -hmm. um, so, and then, of course, that is part of iOS 18 that just dropped. Yeah. Uh, Sonoba, I saw just dropped as well. Uh, I did install that on my MacBook Pro. So, um, oh, I need to tell. I need to follow up on my story of how how the fix went and everything it's for mm -hmm. my for my MacBook, I suppose. Um, <laughs> so now, real, yeah. real quick before we go on. One thing Apple pushed during WWDC was the Apple intelligence features. Sure. Which were only available if you had the 15 Pro, yeah. the 15 Pro Max, or any of the 16s. Or if you had a iPad with any of the M series chips or the or newer uh, Mac. Mm -hmm. But a a M series Mac, I believe, right? Yeah, right. But that's not for 18.0 at 18.1 yes which we're expecting out in a month yes so the new look of siri mm -hmm. will not be available yet um the intelligent features will not be available yet so even though it looks like in photos it did make the search better so literally i was able to do a search in my photos for Ruth wearing glasses from the last month. Literally put it in like that, you know, kind of simple text. And it gave me all the photos of Ruth close up with her face where you can see her glasses clearly. So it wasn't just a photo of me and Ruth together side by side. It was a photo where you could definitely see her in glasses. And then you could just make a, a movie very easily because it gives you the photos it down below says photos you can click on movie it creates a highlight movie mm -hmm. so that looks like that's available but 18.1 should have more advanced uh searches also you can now tag uh not only people as you were able to do before but you can now tag individual pets mm -hmm. 
which is which is useful if you have multiple pets. You just don't have to search for cat anymore. I can search for Rosie or I can search for Daisy or Leo and it'll pull up that individual cat. No, yeah, I love I love that. He, that was one of the samples you gave, right? I, I, I mm-hmm. know I was looking for, through your video uh, situation here. And uh, yeah, so there's there's your there's your pet and your name yeah, is Charlie. And there's Charlie. Yes, it's spelled so that I way. Just named it, yeah, put down uh, the name Charlie. L-Y. And- <laughs> Yep, and now you can pull that up like that. So I can. And then now, if you notice down below where all the photos are, if I hit mm-hmm. movie, which I don't know if I did in this video or not, it'll actually create a little highlight movie. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Speaking of dogs, uh, let's check in on our uh, our pizza yep. dog guest here tonight. Pizza dog. By the way, the name is Pizza Dog until uh, anybody tells me differently. Um, so I, I and no, I I gave it crust because they were like they're worried about that. I was talking with with my friends about what I should do with some stuff. And I was like, I got to feed it something. And I, you know, uh, I was like, all I have is this pizza that I just got in. And so slice on Broadway supporting Pittsburgh pups with the perfect pepperoni pizza. Uh, there you go. There's your new ad. Uh, by the way, dog's doing great. Dog's doing great. Just laying around, just hanging out, you know, was very that, thirsty. That is one content pup. Yes. Yes. No tag. Um, I, I, you mm-hmm. know, obviously have been occupied and I don't even have a car uh, uh, to take it to see if it's got a chip or something. So, um, but yeah, I, I don't know. I It's just lives here now. Uh, let's see. Missy will be back around 830 or so. So we'll see what happens. Uh-oh, people are commenting on Facebook. I'm wondering what's happening. The sleuths are out there. Anyways, um, where are we at with things? Oh, hey, let's give a shout out before I forget about it to our friends on Slice. Uh, but, 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 not Slice. We already gave a shout to Slice. Uh, our friends at patreon.com slash awesomecast, where that stream seems to be working for the Patreon, at least. I don't know what's going on with the Awesomecast stream, so I'm hoping we don't have any issues when we do the Wrestling Ma'am show later. I think it's just a little glitchy thing with Vimeo, so I'm glad you're not doing it with the client, guys. Uh, anyways, thank you to everybody that does support this show and this craziness and kibble, apparently. Our, our friends at the on, on Patreon that do support us every month, Cynthia Klosky, Michael Fedor, Sean DeGore, and Dave Ponder. Spouse of Rooster Julia Fair at RoosterJuliaFair.com. There you go. Uh, you guys support the show, too. We do try to do a uh, after show. I want to say that is questionable today, depending on what happens in the next uh, half hour or so uh, with this dog and, and if anybody shows up at my door and stuff like that, right? So, um, we'll see what happens. Uh, but no, we do intend to have a Patreon for you guys. I know we didn't last week cause we're on the road, but, uh, you know, we, we other chats on the side, you know, when we're, when we're, uh, uh that we don't want to have on the show because we want to keep it positive and have some fun stuff on here. So patreon.com slash awesome cast. So, um, can I talk about medieval things? I was very impressed. You may, you may early, sir. You may. Ah, uh, yes. Well, I met Sir Mike over the weekend. So, uh, uh, Baja SAE, Michigan, was in Holly, Michigan. I've never, been, and to my awareness, I've never been. But apparently, somebody tells me I have been. Somebody tells me that I, in the two thousands, I was at the Michigan Renaissance F- Festival. I have zero recollection as is before we had all the pictures on our iPhones. So. Hmm. I'm I'm waiting for evidence of this. I remember going to Michigan with some friends. I do not have one iota of a memory of attending a Renaissance festival ever in my life. Okay. Um, now I have the been mead, to, the mead. The mead may have been quite strong that day. I then. don't know. I, I I don't I don't go and drink at events like this. Right. One for the price, price of beer and, and, and yeah. So we this the Renaissance festival was two miles from our event site. It was like to the point where we showed up the first time. Said, oh yeah, hopefully you don't have any parking issues this weekend. The rent fair is up the road. I'm like, what? And we or you know uh, traffic problems. And we didn't honestly. Um, like I think it was far enough up. It wasn't a problem. Or you know we were early enough. You know because I don't think they start until like nine o'clock or so. And we we were like you know the the students and everything are in are like seven eight o'clock and everything. So um, so we went. After a uh, dynamic day, we we uh, we got our, our shots in, and we're like, well, let's 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 go up the road and catch like the last couple hours of the fair. And uh, it was pretty tremendous. It was a, it was a really I, again I I have no recollection. I've never been to the Pittsburgh one or anything like that. Uh, people keep telling me I need to. Uh, I, it's happening this month. I'm actually thinking about going next weekend uh, if if the weather holds up here because uh, I got to see Transformers this weekend. Uh, <laughs> so and my California trip apparently canceled without telling me uh so uh yeah it's it's so 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 i intend to go i i I understand this might i might have uh my 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 um my uh 
uh, expectations may have been ruined uh, by going to this mm. one. So we we go and and thankfully there's only like two things that are on my mind for this is I want to see the jousting and I want to maybe have a turkey leg. The turkey leg line was far far too long. So uh, we are wandering. We're literally just wandering. We're not looking at a map. We're not at anything. You know, uh, here's a few scenes from this, actually. Oh, no, that's that's me. That's me. I hit the wrong arrow. Excuse me. Oh, no, that's the wrong one there. That's the wrong one there. Well, no. Oh, no. That's me dancing. Um, let's try this over again. Okay. There we go. All right. So the, the inside arrows, not the outside arrows. So here's yes. a little bit of, there's some of the, the shows happening there. Um, the, there's a little bit of the castle area when you come in. Like, it was really, really, it was really nice. Like, good permanent structures here. I don't know why I just imagined that uh, most of Ren Fairs are just kind of like a thing that's built when it happens. So this was a fun one. We did find the jousting. There's the uh, post joust uh, fight there. Ooh, There's oh some my. jousting, jousty, jousting, boink kind of thing. And this is the the jo the the jousting sticks with like the breakable ends and everything. They are actually hitting sure. So here's the fun. This wedding was happening because we go up on this hill behind where people are sitting, and we we're like the jousting's about to start and everything. And we look behind us and we're like, is this a wedding that's about to happen? Literally, as the bride is coming down and they're doing their vows, that's when the physical jousting when when the the, the wedding when we got to this point of the wedding where they're up on the thing um oh geez i hit the wrong i hit the wrong arrow again uh this yeah this this was what was happening across from it <laughs> katie has video going back and forth between i had yeah. kept having tapper because like they're going again they're going again uh kind of thing but it was fun it was it was a fun experience so uh, and of course we did get to meet night mike uh, who was the loser of the day, but he seemed like the cooler of the two. So we went to go over, talk to him <laughs> and, and got some pictures with, with them, with our tongues hanging out in a fist. Uh, so, and you see, and now, 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 now take a look very specifically. I don't, let's see, we got a wider picture with Katie here, right? Ah, I get the wrong arrow again. Facebook. Why? Um, but uh, notice like, do you see the layers going on here? Oh you, yes. You see all yeah, the yeah, padding. It looks like there, there's like a, uh, a thing that goes against the skin. Uh huh. There's a couple layers of something. Yeah, there and, well. and then there's uh, like an outer layer which goes between yes. like whatever you're wearing, like an Under Armour yep. type thing, and the actual yep. armor itself. Yep. Yep. And yep. some additional padding. And then the actual armor, like full on armor. armor itself. So he's telling us about like he had just added this chainmail thing around his waist, right? Okay. The and polka dots. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's not exactly polka dots. If you look real <laughs> close. Yeah. Don't tell the knight it's polka dots. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> it's just, just like polka dots. Um, and they're black and gold at least. So he's telling us the story about. I was like, yeah, I didn't have this yet. And and he actually had one where the stick came in and hit like his inner thigh. Mm. And he didn't know he was bleeding until like where he was coming out, just like he was hanging out with us there, you know, to talk to the fans and looks down and saw the blood. And he's like, I'm going to go. And there's an ER right up the street. And there's a couple of things. He's just like, so, um, you know, it's an easy way to get through ER is like, I have a jousting injury and I, and I'm bleeding near my, uh, my artery. Uh, yeah. so they'll go right in, you know? Um, and uh, he's like, you know, he was one of those like the guy took a pen and like it, it went like straight in and everything. He was like, that's not good, you know. Uh, he still had a little bit of blood on his um, on his armor down there. Um, so so yeah. So that, the, the the injury happened this year. Um, I think it's a, a re relatively recently, yes, in the in, okay. in the last few months. From was, okay. was my okay. sense of it. Uh, so uh, and he's talking about he he was talking about it like. Because we we asked a little bit of like because they're cutting promos and yelling and of course it's it's Katie and I so we're just like like they're I wonder if they're like just pro wrestlers on the side or something right and uh and so so she she went up and asked do you happen to also do pro wrestling I think was the question that she asked I wish she was on the tell her side of this so maybe we can get up next week um and uh and he's like he's like well i wouldn't have time for that you know kind of thing you know and he's just like and he, and he actually talked about how you know the sticks that they use in it and i i you know i i saw what was happening i'm like no there's that it was very real it was, it was competitive and there's sticks and they break off and they have full helmets and stuff and he's like most of the places don't do that like you know if you can watch and like and i literally pulled up the pittsburgh run fair because i was very curious after this and and just wanted to see like oh i wonder what it's like you know i think i might go in the next couple of weeks and finally go to one you know since my, my schedule's kind of opened up a couple of things kind of fell through that mm -hmm. which i was supposed to be doing and uh, i'm strangely open on late in september and uh, and I looked at it and I'm just like, oh, my God, they're not wearing helmets even 
in this other one and it is just a full like it is it's a play it's 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 pro it's it's light pro wrestling it's theatrical right mm-hmm. um it versus versus hold on let's go back to that clip if you're with us on video from earlier yeah. where uh the knights are just beating the crap out of each other with swords <laughs> They're pantomiming the kill shot a little bit, but they've definitely like dude's got him oh, in no. a headlock. No, no. I, this I mean, is I, I he just waffled him with that sword. A sharp, yeah, a sharp edge. Oh, I'm sure they're dull and stuff, but but, but still, look at this that, guy. Just that, that, I'm sure. I mean, that was a mate. That was a nasty swing. Look at that rabbit punt stuff going. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know, like, and I love how they present this because they're like the the last one happens. Hey, so and so won, but you know what? More violence. So we're like, yes. <laughs> oh man, it was so much. Are you fun. sure it's not pro wrestling? And oh my god, there was so many people. It was basically like it was. You know, it's it's somewhere past pro wrestling, right? Um, but you see a lot of that. Like I, I know we have some wrestling friends that are very into the Ren Fair. I actually saw a picture of some friends of the show that were there. Uh, uh, it looks like this past weekend on Facebook. Uh, so, uh, yeah, there's such a connection there. It's absolutely <laughs> some carnal connection there between pro wrestling and this. And it's exactly yeah. what I wanted to see. And I was happy. And we saw it within like the first like 45 minutes we were there. And I was like, Katie, I don't care what more we see. I don't care if we get a turkey. Like I saw some real ass jousting and we had the best conversation mm-hmm. with the night. Uh, I was like, this is great, you know. So, uh, Michigan uh, Renaissance Festival, I believe, is was officially called. It's in Holly, Michigan. Uh, it's actually about halfway between, um, I guess, the edge of Metro Detroit and Flint. Uh, so, nice area, really nice area. It was amazing. Mm-hmm. I didn't see a cloud all last week. It was incredible when we were up there for for Baja. Oh yeah. Uh, so we were very very fortunate with that. Um, the other thing that I would bring up, unless you have any questions about the Renaissance well, Fair before we when you were on. saying the ones without the helmets. Yes. Was that the one in Pitt that's just that south was, of it, Pittsburgh? It was, it was the Pittsburgh one I was looking at, yeah. Okay, okay. Because, you know, doing stuff without helmets seems like a West Virginia thing. <laughs> well, it's down in West Newton, so close enough. There you go. And we're going to be talking about our friends from West Newton and for <laughs> RWA here on the next show uh, for Wrestling Mayhem Show. Uh, see you guys Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, um, oh my god, I should just go to the Ren Fair before RWA. That makes so much sense, right? I mean, anyways, geez. We went to something else that I've seen a billboard for every time I got on the turnpike. I think it's like just past the border, you'll see this billboard on the Ohio Turnpike. For Brawner's Christ- Christmas land, or yeah, Christmas something. Okay. Um, and it always kind of, I always kind of laughed at it a little bit because it's like, you know, Christmas, it capitalizes the first part, you know, putting the Christ mm. of Christmas, you know, you know, et cetera, et cetera. It's like one of the, I, may, I don't know, it's the world's largest, but a, it's a very, very large Christmas store. Okay. And <laughs> it's, uh, geez, I don't think I made an official post about it, actually. I, I, I think I shared like the dance and that was it, right? Let me double check if there's anything accessible on here. Otherwise, I'll pull up my photos. Um, I don't believe I did. No. Wow. Oh, wait, no, I did. I did. I did. Oh, there we go. There we go. So, uh, this is something Katie has been to before because she has, uh, her roommates, of course, from the, the Michigan area and everything. So she's, she's mm-hmm. familiar with, she's my guide for Michigan things. So yeah, it's just a giant, like there's a map they hand you when you walk into this place. And of course it's the off season. So it was pretty, pretty great. Um, you know, there's just lights are on outside all year round. It's got a little wow. bit of everything. It's tremendous. There's a theater in there. Um, and, and that was, that was also, it's next to, it's uh, on the edge of Frankenmuth, which is this like German town. And the downtown is all like, you know, it's, it's definitely touristy, you know, but all the buildings are old timey, you know, like Dutch German kind of look to it and everything. I got to go back. This is, we were, we were both like, we need to bring our moms in the off season. You know? <laughs> uh, so I, that was a Bronner's Christmas land, Christmas whatever uh christmas wonderland is what it's called bronner's mm-hmm. christmas wonderland has like a, a collection of over 600 precious moments um just tremendous it has everything as far as ornaments and figurines and things like that and things like just that would not spend that much money for christmas for um but just looking at the displays especially like they had like elvira had a little bit it's weird because like just randomly there would be just like a display of halloween in the middle of everything 
you know, but like here and there, uh, but not like no. there was a Halloween section or anything considering we're going in this, this, but there was like a great display of like, you know, night before Christmas miniatures and, and Elvira mm. and, and, you know, and, and buildings and Ghostbusters, um, you know, and, and just everything you can think of, right. Um, for you to do a little display. Like it feels like the old, um, you know, when we went to the, the fairy, uh, the fairy store, the, the fairy garden store last year. We went to see the uh, the small cuckoo clock. We have been very fortunate in the September trips to find something really interesting, fun, and peculiar in places that we've been before <laughs> that we've never mm-hmm. seen. So, because remember last year, it was the giant basket that was an office for a company that's not around anymore that made baskets. I think it was like a Ponzi, uh, not a Ponzi, uh, one of those pyramid scheme Herbalife things or something, right? And then, um, and, and then, then the clock and the Amish land and 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 everything like that. Um, and then this year it was like, hey, let's explore Frankenmuth. It's thirty minutes away from us. Let's go. Uh, so it, it was tremendous. And and this is I avoided wrestling. All the wrestling, like the, some bigger wrestling, was in town for Detroit. And like I didn't even think about it because we had this cool stuff to do, like literally right up the street. So I thought I was gonna I'd be bored in Flint, Michigan, but I was not. On top of that, I got to say the uh, the SAE. Uh, Baja Messi Michigan event was tremendous. Uh, it was uh, dusty, unfortunately, very, very dusty. Mm. But I'll take that versus some of the weather that we've been getting lately. Uh, there's a little bit of the endurance at the start line, and uh, that's uh, some of the hills that we climbed. This is a um, OVR park. Apparently, um, people take their jeeps, <laughs> their full size oh, yeah. vehicles on this thing, mm-hmm. and sign a waiver and they, and go over a lot of these obstacles. There's a lot of cool. Yeah, that's where we got mudded, and that's that's my live stream setup from uh the weekend and i got a little bit more of dynamics here and uh, so, honestly but, that's mm-hmm. where if you have a real off-road vehicle mm-hmm. and you want it in a controlled area yes. not just going off into the woods somewhere where you know you could get set that's where you say okay i want to you know go off road and you know try the hills and down stuff that you know your 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 real off-road vehicles very comfortable mm-hmm. uh can't do and tires are comfy it turns out yeah that was, um, that was a lunch break no. but they, they did a full shutdown during, during the dynamic so we're like all right well i'm just gonna sit on this tire here because i'm not oh yeah they're doing the shutdown, and, sure. and the nice thing was it was all bull you know uh and there was so much just straight sand there was one point we're standing in line for lunch and we got like hit by a, t- a small tumbleweed and we're like what state are we in Right. And there like the sand was crazy for right. And it was a great control traction uh, issue for the Baja cars mm-hmm. to test them out. But it was just like, we're like, are we on a thing? Like, there's a pond over here. Are we on a beach? You know, uh, but they're like, yeah, it must have been like an old strip mining or something like that. It looked like there's some mining happening on the other side. And then like mm-hmm. there was a ski lift on the hill next to us. For, and, and there were parking a lot of people on the you know, off season ski resort and everything, which is between the Renaissance festival and us, you know? So <laughs> it was, it was a wild experience. It was a lot of fun. Uh, uh, oh, yeah. Props to uh, Magna was a presenting sponsor and the organizers there were tremendous for first time organizers. I thought it was done really, really well. Uh, so looking forward to that. I know they want to do it again. And usually it's like a three year cycle. So hopefully in the next, uh, uh, you know, two years or so, uh, we'll be out there again. Holy Michigan to do this again. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I love the site. Love to go back. Love what they're doing there. Have some ideas for some stuff we can do with stuff we've been talking about for expanding the media coverage and such. So, you know, we'll see, we'll see what happens. Looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to whatever's next. Uh, you know, we, we already, we're already a lot of talks about what we're doing in 2025 and I'm very, very excited about it. So I say registration opens in a couple of weeks. That's so, yeah. right. If you're Everyone's already student, thinking of 25, I have a college student interested in engineering. I uh, want to get hands on, go check out the SAE university programs, Baja formula, aero design. Um, mm-hmm. I don't know how easy it is to get an auto drive right now, uh, but <laughs> um, but yeah, there's some really cool stuff going on over there. So I recognize, I, I recommend just look mm-hmm. up university programs, SAE International, and uh, you'll find information for that on a few different sites. I don't know what the core, I think it was a dot com for footage design or something, but we we I don't use it in my call to action, so I use I right, use I use right. more specified things. So I know Baja SAE dot net and uh, FSAE dot com. I think is the other one. So you know things like that. So um but anyways no really really good time so mm-hmm. all right we started a little bit late so we'll just kind of keep yeah. going the dog doesn't okay. seem to mind where the hell did the dog go oh oh i oh. found the dog hold on a second okay let me uh let's let's go check on him Puppy okay. cam. there he is <laughs> looking outside sometimes he's just looking out the window i don't know mm-hmm. he, he's just so chill like only once is, has has she barked just hanging out there just looks like looks like you're wearing my headphones okay Mm-hmm. Um, so, uh, anyways, 
not terrible beggar, you know, definitely kind of looked at me, you know, when I'm eating the pizza and stuff. But yeah. I think it's, I don't know how hungry it is. I don't know. That, that last is time a well behaved dog. Terribly well behaved. Yeah. I don't want it to, um, meet my dog and get spoiled, you know, and get and earn some, yeah. learn some bad habits. But, you know, if I don't get a call here uh, soon, I may be, that may be what's happening. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately. So, I mean, or fortunately, I don't know if I, maybe I have a dog now, maybe I have a, a second dog. Mm. now That's, that's 10 times bigger than my current dog. So I, I am of a belief that of not having a big dog in the city personally. Um, so I, you know, I, I just don't think that's fair. So he says a dog. <laughs> yeah. Yes, I'm talking about you. Yes, I'm talking about you. Hello. Yes. I am, I'm I'm concerned about you. And you're just you're just chill. Okay. There you yep. go. There, there she goes. There she goes. Um anyways, what are we doing? Uh what else is there to touch well, anything we should touch base on here before we head out? Anything fun or anything? Um, Let's what Well, you know what on? kind of did add up not necessarily iOS a team related. Even though it is kind of, mm-hmm. um, but things that Apple announced that are now approved. Oh. So, if you do have the air, uh, yeah, if you do, uh, if you are worried about sleep apnea, which I think pretty much everyone should be, mm-hmm. and you have a Series Nine or an Ultra True or one of the newer ones, or, or the uh, if, if you're getting a Series Ten, they will be on there. I have a Series 9, so I turned mine on. Mm-hmm. Uh, it will... Now, what it does is it takes... it. You have to wa- wear it while you're sleeping, mm-hmm. which I know a lot of people don't like to do. Uh, but yeah, it, honestly, if you have a 9, especially if, an, if you have an Ultra, you're not worried about battery life. Even a 9 or a 10, you're pretty much not worried about battery life. Oh, okay. Sorry, forgot okay. where no I was. Uh, you know, the battery life works pretty good. And you can put it on the charger for 10, 15, I'm sorry, 10, 15 minutes in the morning. No problem there. And it's a, a good amount charged. So it takes it basically, it, it'll take a month to do it because it does just do a reading mm-hmm. and it will say, oh, by the way, over the past month, here's what we found. And yes, we found things that could be indicative of sleep apnea. You may want to talk to your doctor about this. Yeah. Which is really nice because I think we talked about last week, sleep studies suck. Mm -hmm. Sorry, but they, you know, uh, and if you're wondering, because most people feel, very few people feel refreshed and bright eyed and bushy tail first thing in the morning. They know most people are tired and you're kind of wondering, okay, do I have sleep apnea? Is there a possibility? Do I really want to go through all that testing? And this can kind of say, yeah, this is something maybe you should be worried about. Because sleep apnea can kill you. And it's, it's, I think a lot of people are pushed off because of the name, if you're not familiar with it. But to put it briefly, sleep apnea is basically you stop breathing at night. Yeah. You have whatever obstruction because of whatever reason, and you basically stop breathing and you have to, and you jar yourself away, you know, back to breathing again. And people have bad sleep apnea that can happen tens of times over a night. You're basically stop breathing and you're kind of you have to jolt yourself back back awake. And so it is a major issue and having this that's an add-on to a device that millions have that they can do this quick test and see if they need to be tested or not. I think that's a really good thing. Mm-hmm. And the other thing we talked about is that if you do have AirPods Pro 2 because they didn't make any real changes to the AirPods Pro um you now they did get the approval for the hearing aid so you can do the test in app and if you are found by the test to have mod, mild to moderate hearing issues you can turn it on and use them as hearing aids 
I like that. Now, obviously, if you have major hearing issues, mm -hmm. go see a doctor, blah, 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 blah. Even, I would say, even if you've um, come out and this thing shows that you have a possible hearing issue, mm -hmm. there's nothing wrong with using these as a hearing aid, but you may also want to say, you know, talk to your doctor. Uh, it, gets, say, hey, it gets you I over that this. first hump because you're not going to exactly. go out of your way to do this this first thing. You know, right. to be like, oh, I'm, I just kind of live with it. But if you're like, ah, I wonder, you hit it. And, and you know, it's a, it's a, uh, you're lowering the barrier of entry to actually solving your problem, right? Exactly. So, exactly. Absolutely. And, and honestly, it could be one of those things that you don't realize you have an issue until you put these in. It says you have a little bit of issue. You go, oh, whatever. I have an issue. Let me see if it makes a difference. Like, oh, I've been missing all these sounds. Yep. Yep, you have you don't know what you're, you know don't know this. what you're missing because it's so gradual, right? So mm -hmm. the other thing, um, again, I did update everything, kind of like you know, it was like, oh, hey, these are available. Yeah, why not? And and my MacBook it becomes kind of my, you know, hey, I'll try it on a MacBook, but my sit down editor MacBook Mini, I I uh, I don't remember the last time I've installed a uh, Mac OS on day one like this. Oh. I'm I am I am really, and if I'm really banging my head on stuff tonight. Um, by the way, I want to say uh, Patreon. We're going to talk about my Apple uh, um, repair experience at the Genius Bar, I think. So so put a pin in that. Um, but anyway, so I did get that. And one of the interesting features that I didn't recognize from the um, from the um, the announcements before and everything, and, and I honestly haven't been paying terribly much attention, um, it, there's a phone mirroring option in here. I, I didn't know if you had a chance to play with this. So it's, it's one of the things in the bottom there. Yeah. And let's see, it says iPhone's on use. So if I go ahead and click off my iPhone, it's going to click in and it's going to load in here at this nice little window. And there's my phone. So it's oh. interesting that it only works when my phone is black right now, right? My phone's off. And, uh, okay. but from here, I can pull up, gee, what's safe to pull up here? <laughs> you know, but I can pull up my apps and everything. And, uh, and, and, and it operates on the Mac in the desktop. Um, I don't know entirely what the the you know you know I, I don't know what the use case is for this necessarily. Well, I would say this: the use case is you have your phone. Let's say you want to you have something on your phone that you want to copy and paste on your regular Mac. But I can already do that. <laughs> so mm -hmm. also, there's a there's a passwords app on the front page that I didn't notice before. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. That, so. Passwords has been has been moved mm -hmm. from um, the settings to a separate passwords app. Sure, and that way you can actually see it'll actually say, "Oh, by the way, um, not only that, but uh, your these passwords are, are issues." So that's something to, to that's a change. But yeah, I think the idea is that you can base if you want to use your phone, um, you to, to play oh monster to play monsters ate my condo. Yeah, like I'm doing right now. <laughs> but if you want to use something. your phone, wow, this actually um, because you know what though, there are, I would say there are pho photo editing apps mm -hmm. that are on the phone, which kind of blow away it, unless you do full blown Adobe. Yeah. Uh, and now, can you make that screen any bigger? So you do have some options, but I I, I found Ooh. some. Oh no, when it did that desktop thing. So okay. if you go to view, you can um, right now it's calendar, so I'll click on it, window, um, here. So you can go, so this is actual size. You can go okay. larger. Oh, that's oh, not okay. so bad. Um, so when I did this before, oh. it was it was down below this, but I think I'm okay. at a different resolution because we're plugged into the HDMI. Um, well, but let yeah. me ask you, if you go up, can you hover over it again, please? Uh, where up here? Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Yep, this pops it. up, okay. so you have an you have ah. you have the like home button function, and you have the app, oh. the kind of app drawer oh, wow. function here. Yeah, so basically, so, it's and I can see because it depending on the computer you have, that may be a bigger screen than what you currently have. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So it just may be easier to do it that way so, too. Nice to be able to show off apps like we do here, honestly, mm -hmm. um, because I mean we do we already do the screen screen marrying the other way um to it right. and, and that's how i show off you know it, it just seems like it, it's just a new function to be able to do it um instigated from the mac instead of vice versa because you mm -hmm. go to the phone hit mirroring and throw it to the mac and it takes over right, right. so right. that's the idea I, so that's an interesting idea so it, you know it, it's it's i I'm, I'm curious to kind of poke in the work i'm really glad i updated this 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 way 
Uh, so we can't play with that because it, it is like, okay, this has to be, these have to be on the same thing. And we don't have the opportunity to like, I, I don't have any new iPads. Um, and, uh, you know, so there, there are a couple, couple versions old, even, even before this mm -hmm. update. Um, so, so it's nice to have something to kind of experiment with something like this. So yeah, absolutely. So anyways, a lot of cool new new happening. Uh, we'll be talking mm -hmm. about more in the next couple of weeks. I uh, want to give a shout out. There's a lot of stuff happening. Of course, like I said, I'll be in West Newton uh, for RWA. We'll be happening out there if you'd like some wrestling action, if you'd like some violence with us. And of course, for Thursday night, we're doing our uh, live training, uh, video training. Mm -hmm. If you want to join us for that, uh, there's a live show, free show, live streaming on uh, IndieWrestling.us, streaming networks, pres presuming Vimeo is not going to have a fit again uh, and everything. So, uh, looking forward to being a part of that again, and um, and Friday night we are going to have an event here at the studio. Uh, first, let's shout out Kid Mental, uh, you know, who uh, give us these great sounders, this is, this is an awesome cast. like that one. Uh, is uh, on the is on the Fishing Without Bait podcast starting today. I think it's going to be about a three part interview. If you want to go mm -hmm. check all of that out. Uh, please do, please do. Um, I, I think it's a, it was a really good conversation, uh, about creativity and life and everything. So, uh, definitely check that out. But here, this Friday we are, we had this, um, I think a couple months ago we did this, but, uh, whoa, it's something over there. Um, <laughs> we had an event and I'm trying to get the info in front of me. Uh, it's going to be between six and 10 o'clock here at the studio. Um, there's going to be video games and there's going to be live, um, uh, music jam session. If you want to take a part of that or just kind mm. of, uh, uh, you know, play video games along with, and there's going to be food and everything, uh, uh, some great stuff. It's, uh, it's the, uh, Cypher, uh, Funk Infinity, Infinite, Infinitum. Yes. Uh, and that's what's going to be going down here. We had a lot of fun with it last time. And again, you know, I, I invite everybody to come out and, uh, it, it's free. So, uh, come hang out and be a part of it. Um, I thought I had posted pictures from the last one, but I can't seem to find them on here. I swore I put them on here, uh, but we'll we'll get those up here here shortly. But Just we blame a, Facebook. Yeah, blame Facebook. Uh, but yeah, uh, this Friday. Um, oh, that's the oh, this is the this is the old one. <laughs> this is the old listing for this. That's why. Um, let me go to why is the yeah this is the August 9th edition of this. Where's my event at? I swore I made an event, invited all you people to it this Friday. Hello. Yeah. That makes more sense. And I bet this one has the pictures. Yes. This one has the pictures. There you go. So go, uh, you know, you can become like, uh, come on down, hang out with us. Uh, they had, they had a bunch of video games, a bunch of old school video games, some PlayStation and everything. And you can pick up a mic, pick up an instrument. They had a drum kit here last time, some beats. Uh, and a couple of microphones and oh. you don't have to be good at music to do it. Okay. Like they'll step you through it. We can have some yeah. fun with it. Uh, kids important. are kids really good about bringing you into it and everything. I don't know. Maybe I'll pick, maybe I'll start playing with something this time. You know, uh, I was really worried just making sure everything was cool last time, but maybe I'll, I'll poke at something if, uh, if there's an opportunity. So, uh, thanks kid metal bringing us some really cool stuff here to the Sorgatron media studio in Beachview, um, across from the, See if they still got that sticker over there at the taco shop. Yeah, I think they do. I think they do. <laughs> Across from the now questionable taco shop. Uh, so, Dave Potter, thank you so much. Of course, you talked a bit about this stuff, uh, the iPhone stuff over on the iPhoneography podcast. If you want the yep. deep dive on that, that's the place to go. And this coming upcoming week, not not uh, not yesterday, we do an every other week podcast. Uh, my co-host Greg, and we did just add a new co-host. Uh, but Greg did order an iPhone 16 Pro Max. Yes. He should get it this Friday. So uh, he should have at least a weekend to play with it. So. And hopefully, fingers crossed, he will have good weather so we can try some astrophotography and see the big difference there. I'll talk about all my Apple Store experiences because the iPhone buying was also interesting for me this weekend. So we'll talk about that on the page, Sean. Thank you so much. I have been... Mike, Mike at Sorgatron on all the social medias and uh, if you want to check out what happened across Michigan I was out there for seven days straight between the uh, auto drive workshop and uh, Baja SAE Michigan so we had a lot of fun out there and looking forward to uh, the next trip with them coming up in November for something a little less dirty I think uh, so probably, probably just as sandy uh, we'll see you guys next time you have been our awesome audience have an awesome week
This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at Sorgatron. I'm Eamon. I'm Merlin. And we're a gay. And his NB. Are you a reality television connoisseur? Do you like to discuss from an LGBTQ lens? If so, a gay and his NB is the podcast for you. Hear us break down all your favorite guilty pleasure reality shows from Bravo, Drag Race, and just about everything in between. Listen to A Gay and His Envy on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever you listen to podcasts. 